YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you iOS 12.0 versus iOS 12.0.1 on the iPod Touch 6th generation. I know it's not a big difference because it's only like three things in the update, but I'm just a little curious. I'm going to do this with every update for iOS 12 which is going to be released until iOS 13 of course. For iOS 13, I'm not sure if I'm going to do beta. You guys tell me in the comments if you want to see some betas. So, what I'm trying to do right now, I have, as you may know, I make Lego stands for my devices. So, I'm, and I even made a Lego stand for my 3DS, which is, I know I gave it away just then, but it is going to be in my, in one of, in my video for the 20th of um October maybe the 20th of October maybe the 20th of September next year I'm not exactly sure but I've got my stand for my iPod touch oh my gosh this iPad is so tall I'm gonna just flip the iPad around now it's too low okay now it's finally working so I'm going to show you how I've got the camera set up now oh my gosh never focuses so i've got my um, my ipad air which i'm recording this ipod touch with its front facing camera is recording the ipod touch because that's just in like the middle and it lets you see the whole screen so let's go to the um home screen of this Actually, no, let's shut it down. It's off. Okay. Now we've got to grab an iPad Mini 2. This is going to get so hard when I have when I get my iPad 6th generation. I might get an iPad 6th generation to upgrade from my iPad Air and my iPad Mini 2. I'm not exactly sure. Even though they're the cheapest iPad, I'm still not exactly sure whether I want one or not. Now we've got to move things. I do watch YouTube a lot. Here's my iPad Mini 2, 128 gigabytes. Yeah, that's my bedtime. I just do that to get Do Not Disturb during bedtime. So let's go to Stopwatch. I'm going to start whenever I, whenever the Apple logo comes up. Okay. Okay, twenty six, twenty six and Okay, it's about 26 and, yeah, about 26 seconds. So let's, let's go 26.2 seconds. Oh, look at how slow that is. I need, I need a new iPad. Okay. So, now we're going to open up the Measure app. Um, no, not Measure. The Settings app to update the firmware. I'm going to do that. Well, I'm going to do that. Okie dokie. Update requested. <coughs> um, now downloading. About seven minutes remaining. That seems a bit long. <laughs> I wonder if you can back up and um, update at the same time. I only have five gigabytes of iCloud storage, and soon I might even upgrade it to. Maybe 200 gigabytes, or whatever the least you can get for family sharing. <coughs> That's what I do. You should check with me. Because, yeah. Oh, it's already on preparing update. I'm just going to go to my Apple ID, go to the iCloud storage settings. I've only used 366.6 megabytes of it. That's because I deleted 2 gigabytes of backups. 
Maybe about, yeah, I'd say about four gigabytes of backups. Because the iPad Air 2, that has 26 gigabytes of storage used. And this has like, I don't know, maybe 32 out of 64. The iPad Air, which I'm recording with, is 32 gigabytes. This iPod Touch is 64. And the iPad Mini 2 is 128 gigabytes. Okay. So, let's go storage plan. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to go. Yeah, I can go for 499, 449, 450, whatever. Okay, why is why is PDF expert by read on here? Okay, this is not working well here. And let's go check on my update progress. My control center. Oh, it's going really quickly. So, um, I don't really know what I want to do. If this worked upside down, I'll put it on the charger, put it in its holder thing, and let you see it upside down while it's charging. But I guess that's not going to happen. Plus, by the way, my iPod Touch is actually bent. The aluminium is bent. You might be able to notice that. I can definitely show because it, it can rock on tables. Like from a screen. Well, you might, you can sort of see it standing up a bit. Yeah, I hope you can see that. It's a tiny bit because I bent it back a little bit before it was like bent it I don't know how it was bent but I don't know I don't know this much sort of it was this much to the side pretty much I can't explain it okay it's it's going really quickly in fact too quick I don't even think it's pretty much doing anything how many gigabytes did it say it was I don't know and it is downloaded. Now I've just got to install it. Yes, I was with the iCloud. Okay, well, well, okay, let's just install now. Verifying update. Okay, so the iPod Touch 6 generation has been updated to iOS 12.0.1. Well, this is on iOS 12.1, public beta 3. Okay, so I'm going to start the iPod up. Okay, 27.27 seconds, 27.2 seconds, and let's compare that from my iPad. Ooh, it is a different, it's different. So, it is one second, it, no, it's about um, 0 0.9, it's about 0 0.97 approximately. About 0 0.97 seconds later, approximately. 0 0.97 seconds. Oh my gosh. That is such a little difference. But it's still a difference. And of course, every time it boots up, it says it's flat. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm still recording in the same setup. There's my iPad Air on the iPod Touch. Oh, 
Uh, did you see them in the awful touch? Yeah, that's sort of it's sort of mirroring through that image. Oh wow. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Don't update to iOS 12.1 unless you're on iPhone XS or XS Max. Thanks for watching. Bye.